On the heels of a fiery presidential debate, former Vice President Joe Biden's senior advisor for Texas made a stop in the basin. Big Two's Felicia Romero spoke with him and a staunch Trump supporter today to get their reaction. Good evening, Felice. Good evening, Katie. I was able to speak with one of Biden's senior advisors. Now, Texas is a swing state for this election, and he thinks that Biden can win the state. President Donald Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden are neck and neck in the most recent polls. Texas has been a reliable red state since 1980, but things may change this year. The latest poll from 538.com reporting that Trump has a narrow lead in Texas, sitting at 47.9 percent. Joe Biden sitting at 45.9 percent. He'll make a major difference uh, across the state. He'll increase the Democratic vote count in this part of the state. I have no doubt about it. Uh, you know, you don't have to win 50 percent of Midland County to become the winner statewide, but uh, there will be far more votes coming out of Midland County for Democrats than we've seen in the past. Biden adding 13 more staffers to his campaign in Texas as the state shows potential to turn purple this year. 270 to win reporting that the 2016 presidential election had Texas voting 43.2 percent Democratic and 52.2 percent Republican. His health care plan is a very pragmatic plan. If you have private insurance and you like it, keep it. If you can't afford it because wages have not kept up, buy into Medicare, which is a very popular plan. Texans are very focused on issues and what matters and what is a president going to fight for in their lives. And Joe Biden has a very pragmatic plan, which I think will be very popular. And yes, he can win Texas. Collier says he wants to set the record straight. Biden is not going to ban fracking and plans to invest in renewable energy sources. There's still going to be plenty of work in oil and gas. I mean, we're going to need liquids. We're going to need natural gas. Natural gas is a very important part of our overall energy program. It's much cleaner than coal. We can now ship it around the world. So there'll be plenty of jobs in oil and gas. Now, we did also speak to a Republican who supports Trump to see what he thinks about Joe Biden catching up in Texas. Well, I think the the, uh, the Trump people are far less going to be polled or, or be interested in polling. Well, it's kind of alarming uh, because, you know, judging by Biden's uh, profile and the things that he's wanted to accomplish in his tenure, uh, that being eliminating fossil fuels completely, I mean, that affects a lot of our state. Tune in tonight at 10 to see what West Texans on both sides of the aisle thought about last night's presidential debate. Reporting live in the newsroom, Feliz Romero, Big 2 News.